Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Fact Flashes Real Talk. MS University of Baroda, since the very first day of lockdown, has been very firm on their decision of conducting the final year examinations no matter what. However, the student union leaders and a lot of student union parties have been opposing this decision of the university. But like I said, university is still very firm on their decision. The new dates for the final year examinations have been declared by the university. A lot of students have approached us lately with their queries and questions and also how they oppose this decision of the university. So joining me on today's episode is the registrar of uh, the Maharaja Sayajira of University of Baroda, Mr. K.M. Chudasima. And over the next few minutes, we'll be talking to Sir about all of the queries that all of you have sent us regarding the final year examinations. So thank you so much for being with us. My very first question is that since very first day, university has been very firm on the decision of conducting the final year examination. They still are. And somewhere or the other, the student union uh, leaders have been opposing it. Uh, what do you say? Uh, to a certain extent, yes, you are right. We have been firm enough in uh, uh, our idea behind the uh, conduct, uh, conducting this examination is uh, that when any student is going to be passed out and he is going to be uh, there for further studies or either for uh, the uh, job purpose. Uh, during this COVID-19 situation, uh, despite this being an extraordinary or an abnormal situation, they would definitely be asked that what they have scored. Now, uh, focusing on that rightly mentioned by uh, the government of Gujarat that at least uh, final semester or the final year has to have some sort of examination rather than um, uh, progression. Uh, and uh, following those uh, guidelines and following those directives, university uh, decided that there would be the examination of uh, final semester of the final year uh, students examination uh, for the simple reason that they should have their credentials in hand and when they go in market, uh, 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 it should uh, be, uh, you know, worthwhile uh, having um, uh, given examination and scored so that they can get better opportunities either in terms of uh, further studies or in terms of job. And we are following those directives. Uh, this is just for the betterment of the student's career. That is what we think. Right. Now, so the next question that I'm going to ask you is a general question. This is a big discussion that uh, happened after the UGC also came up with their uh, decision. And that is, that is a college degree in India so important that uh, we are ignoring the fact of the crisis and the pandemic that we are into? Um, I have a <coughs> opinion about two things. A first thing about uh, this COVID-19, which is an odd situation. None of us are aware about right. uh, when it would end and um, uh, how it would be controlled. So uh, worldwide this thing is happening, uh, this unfortunate situation is there, but uh, after the lockdown everybody has realized that uh, this is not something which can stop us. Right. So what to do after this? So after this at least we can learn uh, to live with this and that is the reason that we did not prefer uh, calling students here in the campus to safeguard their health uh, uh, benefits and even their parents are little bit uh, uh, worried when students right. would be here and um, uh, we don't want to uh, put the life of the students at risk and that is why uh, sticking to our decision we opted for the online examination so that there can be a win-win situation for the uh, academic organization as well as the students which may help them in uh, getting better job opportunities or for further studies. Right. Now sir, a lot of students have said that uh, particularly from the final year that they are, uh, uh, there's a group of students who want to give their examinations and a group of students don't want to give their examinations. So they are like, uh, can it be left to the students? Uh, because there is a group of students that is ready. They are like, if you give us an average of both our uh, both of our previous semesters and both of our previous years, we are ready with that degree. I mean, we are uh, okay with that degree. And still the other group wants to give an examination. So don't you think uh, that can it be left to the students on what they want to do, whether they want to give their examinations or not? Uh, it, it cannot be left. Let me say why. Uh, because when we get some directives from government of Gujarat, uh, uh, we are bound to follow it. Right. 
and the state government or the national uh, level committees which are prescribing these patterns of uh, uh, performing the examinations after a huge uh, uh, discussion with the uh, experts and brainstorming they have come up with a decision that whatever was possible in the intermediate semester the pattern which you are saying was very much accepted but when it comes to final year there has to be some consciousness there has to be some thing which is especially focusing on their career right so uh, what you said was very much possible and that's why government opted that for intermediate semesters wherein there can be averages and weightage score can be given but at the final year uh, would anybody prefer to mention that without examination this is an averaged score mm. um, and that would be mentioned in the mark sheet that uh, during this extraordinary situation uh, the student has not performed in an examination a small noting would you know uh, get highlighted over a period of time not today after 10 years 15 years so when somebody wants to firmly get into a market wants to get established into a market it's better to have some credentials and these credentials can very well be obtained by either uh, offline examination and online examination and looking to this situation it was very much advisable that we opt for online examination to safeguard the interest of the people so uh, uh, i think i answered both of your uh, questions wherein Uh, the possibilities of averages have already been done but that is done in intermediate semesters while in the final semester the uh, scope of uh, online examination was there and we opted for those examination as per the directives of government right now so the biggest argument that the students have put up to this decision is that uh, it was a long span like 2 3 months and they have probably forgotten what they have learned in the classes and this was the biggest argument that they have put up so there was one more suggestion that they told us and they were like that if it is possible for the university to get a revision a sort of class or something online set up before the exams uh see um, <coughs> i very much believe in the words of my students uh, the maharaja sayaji rao university is one of the reputed organization and uh, even our students are uh, uh, you know very disciplined and uh, Uh, they are learned also in fact i should say they are wise enough uh, so here this is an extraordinary situation wherein all of us were waiting that when the situation gets little normal we are going to have an exams so everybody knows that exam was to be there right despite the fact that there was a lockdown of one month or two month or three month but we all of us were waiting for the examination and the syllabus has been put on website mm. the model question papers have been put on website right. and as you know even um, uh, online education and lot many sources are there now it's not tough to get yourself prepared without the books mm. uh, uh, google is one of the familiar thing uh, soft copy books are available lot many resources are available and um, this examination has been planned accordingly only we have been very uh, uh, thoughtful in terms of how students would be opting and that's why we, uh, the syllabus which was undertaken uh, till 14th of march in the class is only included right. so whatever was covered uh, online maybe because all the students did not attend those online classes so we were very much conscious that the learning which has happened in class we would consider only mm -hmm. that uh, uh, section of uh, to be included in the examination uh, the syllabus was uh, prescribed and the model question papers were given so i think uh, most of the things were available with the students and i am very sure that with the help of these things they are going to bang on they are going to be really very successful in this exam right now so one last question like there have been a lot of changes lately in the school education Uh, if you were a part of the education committee india what were the changes that you would make in the college education um see th uh, this is something uh, anybody would like to advise on but what i focus is on uh, two things one uh, what is feasible hmm. and <coughs> uh, another thing is uh, what is desirable right there is a huge difference between feasibility and desirability uh, when any kind of educational institute or when any kind of educational uh, system is being criticized uh, there can be loopholes right. but the system has evolved over a period of time uh, the system learns out of its experience the system gets developed covering up the loopholes 
and then it comes to a certain level wherein it's operating hmm. so uh, at my personal opinion that whatever is prevailing in the world in india at gujarat or at ms university of baroda uh, lot many efforts are being put at each and every level but the target is the betterment of the students so my only two words of uh, uh, a piece of tips i can say that uh, we are for the students and uh, we would be for them always right at the end your message to all of the ms university students watching this uh, yes this is a rare opportunity wherein i can address all my students uh, <clears throat> uh, two things i would like to uh, bring out here that the uh, online examination which we have planned uh, is in the benefit of the students for the simple reason that we don't know that as of now uh, uh, what would be the intensity of the covid 19 and when the situation would get better off uh, if we wait till the situation improves probably december or i don't know when uh, it would be much late uh, for the students to finish up this uh, uh, present semester and to opt for their further studies or for job so uh, it's not advisable to put on hold the entire system till the system uh, till the situation improves the option available with us is either we can opt for uh, online examinations or we can opt for situation uh, to get improved but in that case we have to wait for a lot so as of now the system is uh, in place we are improving the system there were lot many observations and we have considered all the observations uh, the examination which happened in the mock test uh, i would like to here quote the data of those mock test nine faculties uh, opted for the mock test the uh, 20 about 2500 students were uh, supposed to appear there out of them 2100 students appeared and when we decide uh, when we discuss about the faculty wise uh, engagement of the students we came to know that it is more than 90% uh, i speak on the basis of data which is available i also admit that there were certain issues in terms of logging in uh, students were sometimes uh, being logged out uh but over a period of time the situation has improved uh, the settings which were supposed to be done in google students were opting those settings in their phone settings so there was a, a bit of misunderstanding also but students could uh, successfully enter the software student could successfully opt for the question and students could successfully uh, uh, complete the examination with whatever hinges are there and there is uh, very much uh, positivity in the students also because there were certain representations we are still addressing those issues in case if they are there uh, but we are very sure that once with all the positivity if we opt for the examination probably most of our issues would be solved and i wish uh, all the best to all my students and please don't worry in case if you cannot appear in this examinations there is always a second option available wherein whenever the situation is improving a little we would again come up with a system or a setup wherein students can appear in those examinations those those who haven't got opportunity or those who didn't appear in this online examination also has an option and that option would be considered not as a trial but as a fresh appearing in examination only wish you all the very best thank you so much sir for being with us thank you. so this was dr chudasma registrar ms university of baroda we hope that we have addressed all of your questions if you still have queries regarding the university examinations or anything regarding the ms university make sure to dm us on instagram or send an email to us now with this uh, at the park flash real talk we wish uh, all of the ms university students all the very best the new dates for your examinations are 25th august 2020 thank you so much